The Lord says, Children, wake up. My wrath comes on a day you do not expect. Trumpet call of God. February 17, 2006 From the Lord our God and Savior The word of the Lord spoken to Timothy For all those who have ears to hear I am the God of Jacob, the God of Isaac, the God of Abraham I am the I am I am God alone, there is no other Therefore, hear the word of the Lord and give heed. For thus says the Lord to this wicked generation, to the last of these kingdoms of men. You are maimed. You have altogether become as one whose ears have been hacked off. For you will in no wise hear me, nor are you able. The world, this world of lies, has seduced you and eagerly you embrace the seduction. Thus your portion shall be sorrow, and your lot the grave. For the wicked shall lie down in death, and the evil of heart shall be struck down. They shall all be broken off. Behold, even you, O churches of men, have went the way of the harlot. For you have embraced many lovers, lying down in beds of false doctrine, covering yourselves with filth and pretense, committing many acts of adultery by your traditions, as you continue to indulge in all things which I said you shall not do. You have surely denied me. You have polluted the name of the Holy One of Israel. Behold, you have caused this people to err. You have altogether turned them aside, for you have preached to them another Jesus, a false Christ, passed down to you by your forefathers, an idol arrayed in purple and scarlet, which even now you mold after your own likeness, in accordance with your own expectations. Thus says the Lord to this maimed people, to all these slumberers who refuse to awake, to all these blind and deaf children, Awaken! Free yourselves from the deluge of lies, from this great flood of sin. Now go and wash yourselves in the pool of Siloam, yet immerse yourselves in the healing pool of God, which was sent. Beloved, wash yourselves. Make yourselves clean and come out from among them. Separate yourselves from all these commandments of men, from all these false doctrines and filthy traditions, and I will receive you. Yet you refuse me, nor will you come out, for you want no part with me as I truly am. Thus your sin remains, and the shadow of death, it covers you. My own people sin against the blood of sprinkling, which makes atonement for their sins. Behold, they testify falsely, as they continue to pervert my name in all the earth. Darkness falls across the land, and my people remain desolate. Therefore, every lampstand shall be removed from its place, all light gathered and taken and found no more in the earth, and judgment shall reign. Beloved children, you have rejected life. You have turned your backs on your own forgiveness. Why have you forsaken me? My heart bleeds with sorrow as I look upon the works of your hands. Anguish grabs hold of me as I search your hearts and minds. Deep mourning fills me 
as I stretch out my hand to bring destruction upon you. Great and bitter sorrows, unending grief, my children have departed from me. Thus says the Holy One of Israel to this lost generation. Thus says he who died and is alive forevermore. Amen. I am the only way by which you shall enter. Having ripped the curtain in two, I am the open door by which all my beloved shall pass through. Yet you refuse to come to me, nor will one of you accept me as I am. How then shall you enter in? How then shall you pass through? Behold, I sent to you my apostles, that you might learn my ways. I sent to you my prophets, that you might hear the word of my mouth and receive correction. Indeed, I sent many servants, as lambs amongst wolves. Yet you persecuted and murdered them all. And still, I send more. Behold, even a multitude as the Father wills. Yet you will stone them in word and by deed as in all times past. Therefore, woe! Woe to the arrogant, the high-minded, and the hypocrite! Woe to all adopted sons of Satan! Your destruction draws near, for I had come to seek and to save the lost, and not to condemn. And now I am come again, and still you forbear. You refuse to hearken to my voice, nor will you listen. Thus I have come to judge, to pass judgment and to condemn, for I am the Son of Man. Therefore, thus says the Lord, all your musings shall come to an abrupt end, and that which you spew at my chosen shall return atop your own heads, crushing you beneath the weight of the truth. For my prophets are sent, they prepare my way before me, sounding the alarm, trumpeting my strong rebuke. Behold, they shall call out to all peoples and warn every nation. Yes, they shall give a shout and blow the trumpet. And whether you will hear or whether you will forbear, they shall surely sing. For it has been appointed to the sealed ones to sing a new song, of which only they know and shall be revealed to them. And behold, they shall sing with a loud voice in concert to every tribe, tongue, people, and nation. And whether they will hear or whether they will forbear, my servants shall surely sing. For the song must be sung and is sung already. Therefore, thus says the Lord God, the one and only Holy Father, Creator of heaven and earth, Listen to my Son, and give heed to those I send, for the time of judgment has come. Behold the signs, for the day of the Lord is at hand. Peoples of the earth, do you not feel my quaking footsteps? Do you not feel the earth tremble at the presence of the Lord? Behold, the mountains shall crumble and fall upon the desolate. Every high place shall be broken down when my anger is kindled, but a little. Therefore kiss the son, lest he be angry and you perish while struggling to uphold your own way. For most assuredly, I say to you, his wrath is about to be kindled and shall be poured out on a day you did not look for, and at an hour you did not expect. Therefore, blessed are those who take refuge in him, says the Lord.